Live pictures from Kyiv, where over the past 45 minutes, explosions have been heard in the night sky. In the far distance of the Ukrainian capital there, center of your screen, uh, you can vaguely see it, what appears to be clouds of smoke. The blasts coming moments after Russian President Vladimir Putin announced a special military operation to protect, his words, Donbas in eastern Ukraine. CBS 2's Marie Saavedra is live in our newsroom with the breaking developments. Marie, NATO officials saying Russia's attack on Ukraine has begun. That's right, Brad and Eric, and we want to start by showing you some of what our CBS News crews have experienced within the last hour on the ground in Ukraine. Three to begin with. That sounded like a fighter jet overhead. Now, at the same time as those bombings started, a second emergency United Nations Security Council meeting was underway in New York City. President Putin's announcement coming during that meeting, just before 6 a.m. in Moscow. U.S. officials warned throughout the day that a full-scale invasion by Russian forces into Ukraine was imminent. This is a perilous moment, and we are here for one reason and one reason only, to ask Russia to stop. Return to your borders. Send your troops and your tanks and your planes back to their barracks and hangars. Now, taking another live look at the pictures coming in from Ukraine right now. Minutes ago, we did hear some reaction from the White House. President Joe Biden denouncing what he called an unprovoked and unjustified attack on Ukraine, pledging the world will, quote, hold Russia accountable. Brad and Eric, of course, will be following developments overnight, sharing those updates online. And the latest tomorrow morning, starting at 4.30 on the CBS2 Morning News. For now, in the newsroom, I'm Marisa Vedra. All right, Marie, thank you.